Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pokemon Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And in this video, we are going to be doing a absolutely legendary showcase of none other than the champ himself, Int Hercule, at Rainbow Status. And of course, I did pull the copies I needed to rainbow him uh, from the LR Androids banner. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. Didn't pull the LR Androids. I got all the Hercules I need. We are rainbowing him. And I was in a bit of a weird state of mind at the time, you know, going kind of crazy, and I didn't even use the Hercules from the Friend Summon to raise his super. I literally used Sleepy Kai's, and then when I ran out of those, I used the Int Grand Kai's to raise his super to 10 and rainbow him that way. Of course, not advised and not recommended, but it is what it is. And uh, let me show you guys exactly what he's all about before we jump into the gameplay. So his leader skill is Super Int Type, key plus 2. HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. And his super attack is Champion's Final Trump card, which causes supreme damage, supreme damage, with a medium chance to stun the enemy. And his passive is Champion's Luck. And this actually makes him one of the best tanks in the entire game, guys. You'll see that in a second. He has a high chance to evade enemy's attack, which is 50%. And he reduces damage received by 50% to 90%. The less HP remaining, the less damage received. And I believe. Um, he has 90% damage reduction when you're down to about 20% HP, which you don't want to really be at, but if you're in that situation, you're going to be really happy that you have this guy on your team, right? And his links are World Champion, World Tournament Champion, Champion Strength, Hero, Soul vs. Soul, World Tournament Reborn, Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. So Fierce Battle I like a lot, but everything else is pretty garbage, and uh, he's not going to link very well on this team, unfortunately, but... That's okay, because uh, he'll do his, his own thing with the, the tanking and dodging and all that stuff. And he's in World Tournament and Majin Buu Saga. And for today's showcase, we are going to be doing the Extreme Tech Super Battle Road stage. It's been a while since I've done the uh, type, like, only Super Battle Road, or like, just, you know, like the original Super Battle Road stages. So I'm honestly kind of excited. Uh, obviously, the team is pretty decent around him, but uh, the focus will be on this Hercule right here, and we're going to see exactly what he's all about guys okay so first fight let's jump in we're facing dr duro and we have hercule on the second rotation so we'll see him in a second uh, let's see about this rotation though okay so uh lr gohan is rainbowed so i'm gonna keep him in rotation here unfortunately he's not the best tank but what if we actually let's just go like this let's um yeah okay three attacks in the beginning so let's go for the android 19 here by the way i still definitely want to see actually let's pop the icarus first Let's just be safe. Just be safe. Okay. So, uh, I still want to see an LR Android 19 and Dr. Duro card, man. I was talking about this in a previous video. I was like, we got the Androids uh, 17, 18, and 16, right? Getting super bad off the bat. Awesome. 25k. I can live with that. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, we got the, the LR Androids. We have the original L LR Android 17 and 18. We have a new 16. We have just so many new Androids cards recently. We got a new LR Cell. Um, and so on and so forth. I mean, it's time that some of these like lesser androids got some love, man, including the GT androids too. Like, I want to see some more cards for those guys as well. I know they're not as hype as, uh, you know, the original androids, right? Especially 17 and 18. But, I mean, I feel like if we can get like a friend summon LR of some kind, that'd be pretty nice. Okay, so now it's time for Hercule to shine. He actually shares fierce battle with these guys, which is why he actually has some links. Um, I'm not even going to let... You know, I'm not even going to let Vegito Super. I'm going to use Hercule Super and see what damage he does. Oh, by the way, for the Hidden Potential system, I did go with 15 additional, 8 dodge, and 3 crit. Uh, 3 crit just for fun, really. And uh, the reason I didn't go full dodge, which a lot of people are telling me to do, is because um, I, I figured he already has that high chance to dodge, right? And he's also a good tank, so might as well give him a higher chance to actually stun with that super, you know, with the additionals. Okay, so if you guys saw that, he dodged one attack, and then the other attack did 91 damage. So, uh, yeah, I'd say he's pretty solid, man. I'd say he's a pretty freaking solid tank here. Um, let's see. Okay, so we actually can't super with the... Yeah, okay, so wh whoever's in the first rotation can't super, that's okay, though. Uh, Magito should be able to tank this no problem. And we're just giving him these orbs, and we'll give Gogeta that one, and that should actually finish the rotation. I forgot how easy the original Super Battle Roads were, man. Holy crap. I mean, to be fair, the team is quite OP at this point, uh, compared to when the stages first came out, right? Like, when, when the 
original Super Battle stages first came out, we didn't have a lot of these units, right? Um, I mean, actually, on this team, we didn't have... Was LR Vegito out at the time? Like, when, when the original Super Battle Road first came out? I don't remember. Uh, maybe, maybe. If not, though, uh, obviously, Vegito helps a lot <laughs> on this stage. And then there's, um, of course, the Hercule that wasn't available, who's obviously the MVP of this team. And, uh, yeah, man, we just, uh, I feel like I'm, we're, we're a little bit spoiled these days. Okay, so I'm gonna put Vegito at the end, actually, for that tanking. I'm gonna keep Hercule in the beginning, and let's, uh, try to stun the Frieza. Yeah, let's try to stun Frieza. And the good thing is the Goku also has a chance to stun, so he can potentially do that if Hercule fails. And then, let's actually go for King Cold with the LR Vegito here. Okay, perfect. We're getting a lot of attacks coming in. Okay, 3.9k. Okay, 4k. I just realized I didn't use any items. So this is with no items active. Usually I do pop a uh, Icarus to start, just be safe. Okay, we got. Okay, so we didn't stun in the first attack, but the second attack, we got the additional super here. And no stun either. Okay, well, you know what? We got the dodge though. Okay, cool. <laughs> so all the regular attacks did about 4, 3 to 4k. And uh, once again, no items active. Okay, so how does this make any sense? Freaking LR Goku with a 10% chance to... I think it's 10%. I'm pretty sure the uh, Int LR Goku has a rare chance to stun, which is about 10%, right? How did this man stun, stun twice in a row when the Hercule with a medium chance to stun? But let me, let me just confirm this. Let me just confirm this. Okay, um, let's see. LR Goku. And he has a... A rare chance, yes, rare chance to stun the enemy. Hercule has a medium chance to stun the enemy, and he did not get both attacks to stun. So, um, that's cool. Totally makes sense. Let's pop the Icarus here. And, uh, because this dissertation, aside from the LR, uh, Yes, aside from the LR, Vegito is not the tankiest rotation, unfortunately. The good thing is we do have uh, Frieza stunned, so uh, let's keep going for King Cold here. And uh, her... yeah, okay, this is fine, this is fine, we're, we're gonna be okay. Alright, so um, not the best showing as far as Hercule's stunning ability goes, but as you can see, guys, he uh, tanks very, very well. Very, very well. Um, yeah, normal attacks without items on Super Bad Road, even the original stages, should usually do like well over 10, 20k, something like that, right? So, uh, yeah, man, he's doing his job. He's, he, I mean, aside from the stunning aspect, he's doing everything else right. Okay, now is Hercule's uh, chance to redeem himself here. Uh, the Gogeta is definitely a concern because he doesn't tank like at all. Um, Let's see, what should we do here? What should we do? Actually, we can probably kill King Cold here, I'm guessing. And, ooh, we're not gonna be able to super. All right, that's fine. That's okay. Okay, um, I guess we'll keep going for King Cold. Obviously, his damage is quite lackluster, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, he's rainbowed, right? Rainbowed SA-10, this man is has an attack stat of 277k, so uh, that's definitely not what you're using him for, by any means. Ooh, wait. Does he increase his at? Wait, does he increase his attack with the super? Hmm. Okay, okay. Because his attack stat went up, right? I was like, what's going on here? Oh wait, does Gogeta? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> we had the LR Goku on support on rotation, right? Okay, so we got the additional thirty percent from the LR Goku. Yeah, I was like, for a second, I was like, how does his attack stat go higher than last time? Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm crazy. Okay. Um. So Frieza is stunned now, which is awesome. Still can't super with the Vegito, but that's okay, because that would just make it too easy, guys. That would make this showcase go by way too fast. Uh, we did get the stun off with uh, Hercule, that that additional super proc which means that I did not make a mistake. I mean, I had some people on my Instagram post when I posted uh, me rainbowing the guy. Uh, people were like, yo, why did, you, why did you not go with more dodge, man? I'm like, honestly, dude, he already has a high chance to dodge, and he also has the insane tanking ability, so it doesn't even matter that much if he gets hit, so wouldn't it make more sense, just like logically, to just give the guy, um, give the guy more additional so he has a higher chance to get the additional super and has a higher chance to stun, right? I think that makes more sense. I mean, that's just me though, that's just me. Um, we have a lot of attacks at the end here, guys, so I'm, I might have to leave Hercule there. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave Hercule there. We don't have any damage reduction items anymore, so... 
I mean, I mean we do have we, we do have the princess snake but I don't save that so okay uh, let's just leave this rotation as is let's see how it goes we're gonna try to kill ball sack guy here I forgot his name um, but I just think of him as the guy with the ball sack on his head and um, can we can we super here with Hercule mmm not enough orbs not enough orbs let's try to stun this guy so so obviously we can't super but I'm counting on the fact that the additional is gonna proc and uh, we're gonna be good to go okay so as you can see UI Goku took that normal attack for almost 20k obviously UI Goku is not known to be the best tank but nonetheless 20k all right keep that in mind when you compare it to the, uh, the Hercules tanking in a second all right guys here we go here we go and obviously he doesn't have the highest like possible tanking on his uh, passive yet because we are still pretty high on HP the lower your HP goes the better his tanking gets okay 9k okay so we reduce damage by, by, by 50% there um, and we dodge two of the attacks pretty solid pretty solid all right um, should I be concerned at all here I don't I, I think we're okay I think okay we're gonna go for cacao here and then I guess keep going for cacao so uh, my general strategy as uh, with all the I mean it kind of changes with category super battle road but with the original super battle stage at least um, you usually want to go for the person or the, the enemy on the right and then go in for him from there, right? Because usually um, they have the lowest HP from starting from the right side and then the guy on the very left has the most HP and the most attack. So I usually like to take out the other guys first before I worry about the uh, the big bad guy, which in this case is Turles, right? So that's just a little like tip for anybody that's struggling with Super Battle Road. Um, you know, go for the guy on the right first, usually, usually. Uh, when it comes to category super battle road, it could be a bit different because ooh, that was a bit of that was a bit of damage. That was a bit of damage. Uh, it, it's a bit of a different strategy because there's units with different like uh, what's the word? Um, different types, right? So in that case, you might want to go for type advantage over just like the right most enemy. But for this, since everybody is the same type, uh, I usually like to go for the right guy. Okay, uh, long winded way to say. It. <laughs> <laughs> to say a really really simple concept, but you guys know how I am. Sometimes I'm super rambly in that way. Uh, let's. I think we can just kill uh, Turles here. So let's actually go for that, and then we'll go for this guy. I forgot his uh, Amond, Almond, something like that. <laughs> and UI is gonna. Oh, we can get a super off with him too. Cool. Okay, so going pretty well. You know what? I'm gonna get the Dokkan attack, guys. I'm getting the Dokkan attack with Hercule. I don't care what anybody says. All right, Hercule is going to be the one that gets that Tolkien attack. It's his showcase. All right, he deserves it. And uh, he's been doing some pretty good stuff for us too. All right, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, this man, this man is going to get the honors of um, Tolkien attacking for us after we take out Amon. Unfortunately, we're only gonna, we're only going to launch it on one enemy, but that's how it is sometimes. There's no way I can actually get away with not using a Tolkien attack in this fight. Like, there's literally no way yeah there's no way okay oh actually we can't mm, can we can we let's see here how do we make it so we get enough orbs to i don't think it's possible yeah man i wish this guy had more keylings <laughs> all right okay uh it looks like we're not gonna do that guys i really wish we could i really wish or now okay, let's just let's just get the Dokkan attack. I was gonna say like maybe I just save it and like try to like go two turns without supering and then come back, but um, nah, that's not happening. Okay, okay, okay. So 68 damage, guys. 68 damage, and we got the additional two. Not a super this time, but we're getting a lot of additionals. See, that's why I felt like it was a good call, man. I felt like it was a really good call to give him those additionals. He has level 15 uh, additional, which I believe is. Yeah, level 15 additional is the most you can give him, so I went full additional and then just a little bit of crit just for fun. It doesn't really make that much of a difference since his damage output is very, very pathetic <laughs> to be to be real. But um, yeah, I think that's a way to build him. If you guys are thinking about like, mm, should I give him more dodge? Should I give him more crit? I mean, hey, at the end of the day, it's your call. I think crit is definitely not the way to go. Um, if you are going to give him, you know, uh, it, 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 it's definitely between uh, dodge or... Uh, additionals right and I feel like additionals just makes the most sense on this guy man since he has that medium chance to stun but also he's such a good tank on his passive already you don't need to give him more dodge on top of that right that's just me that's just me okay so we're just gonna leave this rotation as is we're gonna drop oh I guess we're going for boo first 
That's fine. I, I forgot to switch the, the guy we're fighting. Okay, so we're gonna go with this here. And uh, hopefully we have enough orbs for the... Yeah, we have enough orbs, I think, for the super with Hercule as well. Um, obviously, guys, I mean, it's pretty clear that the LR Vegito is, uh, is quite beastly on <laughs> this mode. But nobody should be surprised about that, alright? Like, they're just, they're just awesome. They're insane. The three-year LRs, the fusions... Uh, they are still some of the best units in this game. Uh, honestly, I think the fusions are actually better than the new LRs for, from the 300 million download celebration, like the LR7 and LR Gohan. But that's just me. I mean, you guys can take that as me just being salty at Impul Gohan. You know, I, I can accept that. But uh, just from, like, objectively, I think that the LR fusions are actually better units. Um, yeah, that's just me. That's just me. Anyways. <laughs> okay, oh awesome, awesome, I love all those attacks, I love all those attacks in front of Hercule here, and we do get the super, off oh we already got, oh wait, is it, is Blue already stunned? Oh, Blue's already stunned, okay, let's go for a Bobbity then, wait, are there any Bobby attacks? Oh, there's one, I think there's one Bobby attack, okay, uh, so we're gonna go for Bobbity here, all out on Bobbity, okay, let's see what we can do with Hercule, unfortunately most of those attacks are yeah, okay, no, only one attack was Bobby. Most of those attacks were Boo. I actually wish Boo wasn't stunned now. Oh, we're getting an additional super. Perfect. We're getting so many freaking additionals. Holy crap. Ah, oh, no stun on either one, though. You know what? That's RNG sometimes. That's how it goes. For some reason, the LR, the Int LR Goku, the Super Battle Road one, stuns so much more. I don't understand that. Like, how how is that happening? This guy has a rare chance, 10%. And this man is, like, doing additional supers. And stunning on both. Like, that's pretty rare, man. That's gotta be pretty damn rare. Okay. Um, this is fine. This is fine. Let's go for Bobbity here. Let's take out Bobbity. Uh, I know I've been saying Bobbity a lot, but honestly, it's kind of a fun word to say. So, uh, yeah, don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> Guys, I think this showcase is going pretty well. Here, here's the thing. Um, I kind of wish I actually did category like Kamaja Buu Saga now because... Uh, this is a lot easier than I remember, but I guess to be fair, when I first did the the type ones, um, my I, my units were significantly weaker. I guess it's been a long time. Right? It's been over a year, so uh, yeah, it's no. What? It's been almost a year and a half, I think, actually. So uh, yeah, I've I made a lot of improvements to this account since then, and it's definitely showing here because man, I don't remember this being that easy. I really don't. But uh, as far as the showcase perspective goes, as far as the Hercule goes, man, he is he is killing it. He is absolutely killing it. I mean, he's just he's a god, man. When it comes to Super Battle Road, and I, I'm I'm sure he will perform just as well if it was a category Super Battle Road stage, which uh, I think would have been a better representation, better showcase of his abilities. I right, got a dodge, a two dodge in a row. There we go. Took zero damage there. I mean, even if he didn't have that extra tanking on his passive. The best, the best tanking, let's be real, is dodging, right? Because you literally take zero damage, no matter what attack the enemy launches, like a super attack or regular attack or whatever. So, uh, yeah, even if he didn't have that, just with a high chance to dodge alone, it makes him really solid. But then, on top of that, even if you don't get the dodge, even if the dodge fails, you still have up to 90% damage reduction on his passive, and he has pretty pretty decent defense, too. Um, for a non dokkan fest unit. I mean, his attack is garbage. He has garbage attack, but, uh, whoa. <laughs> I should have paid attention to uh, how much HP or who was taking those attacks, but, um, I think this should end it, actually. So, I think Vegito with this final attack is gonna do it. If not, then Gohan will definitely finish it. And that's pretty much gonna do it for our Int Hercule, the champ showcase. Uh, let's see how much Vegito takes here. 71k? That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, we used two items, right? And honestly, I don't even think we needed those items. I just want to be extra safe for the showcase so I don't die <laughs> in type only super... Or, why, why do I keep saying that? Um, mono, I guess you should call it. Mono Super Battle Road. Uh, yeah, just wanted to make sure we didn't die there because that would have been super embarrassing. Like, if you die in category SBR, nobody really bats an eye too much. They're like, you know what? It is what it is. They're still pretty difficult. When it comes to types of Battle Road, uh, if you die these days, man, after how long they've been out, after all these like OPS units came out, nah, man, you can't you can't get away with that. So <laughs> I'm glad that didn't happen, 
And uh, that's gonna do it for our showcase, guys. Let me show you the team real quick. Uh, do I even have it set up here? I probably don't. Oh, World Tournament's going on, by the way. I might do a stream soon. Um, I was not even here. Okay, so let's go find the MVP, the champ himself. There you go. Interkill Rainbow Status. Absolute legend. Absolute god in Super Battle Road. If you guys have been struggling at all with any teams or any stages that he could fit on, like Super Int or Super Type Only or um, Majin Buu Saga, potentially, if any of those are giving you trouble, invest some orbs into this guy. Invest some... Uh, I guess just time. Don't don't use Kai's like I did because I was being crazy, but uh, give him some of those uh, tech SR Hercules that you can get from Friend Summit. It might take a while to like get them, but uh, that's a free way to raise a super attack and uh, take him for a test, man. Try him out on one of those super battered stages. I'm sure he will make a difference and potentially help some of you guys clear those stages you've been having trouble with. And uh, yeah, he's awesome, man. One of the best tanks in the game, like I said. I don't think he's better than like... STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, I still think STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is the best overall tank tanking unit because of just like how much damage he can dole out, how, how he can stun and still be one of the, if not the greatest tank in the game. So uh, he's not on that level, but he's, as far as tanks go, man, he's in the top five. He's like right up there. Uh, someone sent me a message. I'll worry about it later. But that's going to do it for the showcase, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this Interkule? And uh, as always, if you like the video today, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.